As you know, I'm kind on the Tech Pro and I'm very excited that finally I've completed making this course on building a complete application step by step with no step skips using Spring Boot and Java. So let me just show you the features of this application and you can appreciate that you can do really something amazing if you have somebody to guide you. So let me go to Spring Boot and I'm going to restart this application and let's look at the features of this application and then we now see how to proceed in this course. And it's really going to be easy. It's meant for everybody, whether you're a programmer or not, you can learn this. You can do this yourself because it is really from the scratch and it's really step by step. You don't need to pay anything. You don't need to buy anything. And I'm going to show you everything you need to do. So I'm going to refresh this page at this point. So it has a login feature. I've implemented security. So this is kind of the genius, my username, and I'm going to log in. And now this is the employee page, but I can actually go back to the dashboard. So this is the dashboard of this application. And now you can also have employee management or HR management system coming out from this application I'm showing you. So we have the list of vehicles. Under vehicle data, you have the list of vehicles. You can have these neat little images uh, showing right here. And you have uh, vehicles showing up. So this is an application that can be used to manage a fleet of vehicles, be it trucks, be it uh, a rental company, be it um, a car sales company. This application can actually be used to, to handle it. So under HR, under people, we have employees. So you have uh, nice pictures of employees as well. So this is really funny. Uh, this is me. Uh, this is a very funny, funny uh, smile there. Uh, so. I'm going to show you how to add these neat little uh, buttons here. And as well as, um, I can also say that we have a profile page. So I can actually go to my profile and I can actually manage my profile. I can go to profile, edit, select another image and stuff like that. So all these are covered in this application. And one thing I also want to mention is that this, we are going to be improving on this application as we go. So I'm going to show you how to also add Spring Security, editing, uh, how to do DevOps, how to upload this application to GitHub and also host it somewhere and be able to, to, to get users, use this application and then uh, you get some returns from this application. So these are the features of this application and to show you how easy it is, it's based on a template. I'm going to just show you, if I go to my browser and say nice admin bootstrap template, you can see the template for this application right here. So this is actually how application is built. You use a template. So it's not really difficult. It's, it's quite easy. So I've taken, I've taken some time to break down all the steps for you. Okay. So if you go to my website, um, yeah, so there is a page. If you go to the website, you have uh, all the steps here, but there is some disconnect between the steps on the website and the steps taken on this video, right? So what are you going to learn in this course? You are going to be learning Java programming. You are going to also be learning JavaScript. You're going to be learning Spring Security, an aspect of Spring Framework, Spring Data JPA. JPA stands for Data Persistence API. We are also going to be learning Hibernate ORM. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. How do you map relational uh, uh, classes you built in Java or maybe in um in other language, how do you generate databases, uh, database objects or tables automatically? You're also going to learn TimeLeaf. TimeLeaf is a template management engine. Well, before I continue, let me just mention that this uh, course is already completed right here. So you have the playlist. So if you have something that is, is difficult for you to understand, you can actually skip to that one. Or you have some things you already know and there are some other ones you want to learn. You can actually skip to the next uh, the, the, the series, the particular video in the series that addresses your problem. All right. So yeah, you're also going to be learning HTML skills, basic HTML skills. Um, uh, you're also going to be learning how to debug because debugging and programming is really very important. Now, before I continue again, let me just scroll down. So in the description of this video, you can see all, all the things I'm saying. They are right here. So we have the steps, there are 36 steps, but yet it's not complete. There are things we are going to be adding after now, right? But for now, there are 36 steps. So if you have, uh, you can also skip ahead to any of them using this page. 
and you have all that detailed courses in case you want to learn more about time leave i also have tutorials i've made on time leave you can also skip ahead to that very one so you're going to be learning all these things including bootstrap and jquery uh as i mentioned github source control and hosting this application somewhere possibly in heroku and then getting users to use this up use this application and you can see the traffic on this application uh, we are working with so you can always connect with me i'd like to hear from you uh you have my social network profiles right here and connect with me anywhere on linkedin on, on, on github on, on facebook anywhere i'd like to really hear from you uh so that we can actually do this together so the best way to learn i'd like to mention how to proceed with this course first the course is if you have this playlist of everything you want it's a beginner course starting from the scratch you don't have to pay anything i assume that in your system you don't have anything you don't have programming tools you don't have mysql we are going to be doing it in the next video after this one just let me just show you so in this video you can see video one uh you can see it says before you begin so we are going to set up or install everything we need in the very first lesson it's a step by step as i mentioned and also the website the link to my website where you have the steps you need to follow you can see step one the link to my website is also here on the description box you can open it and keep the page open so that you miss out something you can also um check it and i want to also mention that the complete application i'm giving it to you so that you have all the files all the ingredients making up making up this application you have it uh, somewhere in your system so if you break something or you miss out something you can always go back to the complete codes the correct code if you will and then and then check where you have some issues and then correct it so the best way to learn at this point is for you to bookmark the page you have the website where you have the procedure bookmark this page and you also have the playlist where you have all the videos and also all the the procedures uh the step-by-step -step, uh video series also bookmark this page in Fire firefox you can bookmark from here by saying um i think you can go here uh bookmark you can say uh bookmark i can't remember in firefox but in google chrome you can always go to favorite the page by clicking on this page this place and clicking on done you bookmark the page another thing i would like to mention is that if you have any challenges whatsoever i mean if you have any challenges following this course i'll be sitting right here on my desk waiting for you to to make any comment or to tell me where you have some challenges and i'm going to help you fix these challenges easily and because this is something i love doing i promise i'm going to be sharing my knowledge with everyone and that is what i'm doing and exactly this is something many professionals they are not going to do because it actually takes some time to figure out how some of these things work so any challenge you have let me know i'm going to help you fix it if you are joining me now if you are watching this video now let me know you are joining me uh, in this series so that when i hear you make a comment or have challenge i can easily help you solve it immediately and also um this tutorial is continuous meaning that to develop a, a complete application that is really good it needs time so this series we have here i'm going to be adding more to it for instance validation or maybe um devops how to create a devops pipeline using jenkins and all these other tools and a few other things we are going to be talking about as we move how do we convert this application to microservices for instance detach the vehicle management system to one service detach the hr to one service and detach the accounts to one service so basically this is what i'm talking about so let's go back to the application so uh let's go back here so this is the application you can actually detach the vehicles to a one microservice the people or hr to another microservice accounts to another service and then globals talking about countries states cities and global objects uh, you detach it to another service and also we have reports in this very application i've completed the report is not there i'm going to be adding it as we go so this is the report section so for now we don't have any report we only have a blank page right here another thing i'll also like to teach you that is very important is how to manage errors so if you, an error occurs in your application you don't want your application to break you want your application to continue working and display 
um, a user-friendly message to the user so that he can continue. If you have some particular area you want me to, well, to focus on or to clarify, feel free to let me know as well by leaving me a comment below. If I find out you are following this really strictly, I actually could share my personal number, my contact details with you so that you can talk with me personally and I'm going to help you solve any challenge you might be having. So I'd like to give you a thumbs up for being there. I'd like to recommend and also um, suggest you don't give up. Uh, this is something maybe challenging at some point because you may have some bugs here and there. But don't ever give up. If you have challenges, you have to solve it because in programming, challenges are normal. And if you're able to solve your challenge in programming and move on to the next step, the, the, the better programmer you, you are going to become. A little about myself, I'm Kyneton the Tech Pro. I promise to teach, to share my knowledge with everyone. I've been a programmer for about 21 years. I've been a software engineer for about 15 years. I've also been a data scientist for about nine years, nine years now. And this is what I do. So let me know you are there. Support my channel by subscribing if you've not subscribed. And also like and share my video in your social network profile so that we can get as many people as possible to be in this community of programmers because one thing I tell myself is that I'm going to help maybe a thousand programmers, maybe more, to become software engineers or help beginners to become good programmers as time goes. So feel free to let me know who you are and feel free to reach me. Uh, feel free to visit my website every time because there's always something new for you to learn uh, here in my website. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and let's move on to the next part. Let's dive right in and let's gather the tools we need and get started on this project.